Hi guys and welcome to the Scan Tool Network. In this video we're going to be looking at the top four diagnostic scan tools for Nissan and Subaru vehicles in 2022 and 2023 and beyond. I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description below this video. Um, there are fakes, there are clones on the market unfortunately and, and unfortunately they can damage your vehicle. So it's really important that if you were looking to pick up one of these tools you use the links in the description below this video because that will take you to the official and the, the genuine products. Now at the end of the video I'm going to show you which of these tools I would personally use if it was my money on my Nissan or my Subaru. I'm going to start with the cheapest and work our way through to the most expensive and hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better understanding a better idea about which of these tools is going to be best for your specific needs. So we're starting with the iCarsoft NS Vision 1.0 or V1.0 tool. Uh, this tool is uh, it's going to allow you to diagnose and reset the main systems in the vehicle, so things like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, but it also works on other systems as well, really depending on what's installed to the vehicle. So that can be things like power steering, air suspension, central locking, HVAC systems, and this tool will also allow you to do oil service or maintenance or interval resets as well. So if you get, if you've caused you a service or maybe you've done it yourself or you just want to reset the light, then this tool will do the reset, the service reset for you. This has free lifetime updates okay so that's the vision 1.0 then we move on to the f uh, sorry the jp vision 2.0 um, the beauty of this tool is that it does everything that this tool does. Not only does it cover Nissan and Subaru vehicles though, but it also covers uh, all Japanese manufacturers. So it'll do Honda, Suzuki, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Nissan and Subaru as well. Um, it does have more functions as well. It does cost a little bit more, but it has more functions. So as I said earlier, it covers everything that this tool does. But additionally, this tool will do, depending on the vehicle, it will do DPF regeneration, electronic parking brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and brake bleeding. Now, as I say, it depends on the vehicle. So my advice would be to, uh, I'll pop an email address in the description below this video. Use that email address, send your vehicle details to that particular email address and check to see whether the, a particular function is gonna be suitable for a particular vehicle. Um, I'll try and include your VIN number as well. And I would say that could be the case for all of these kits. If you're just unsure, use the email address. So that's the, F, uh, sorry, the JP version 2.0 tool. Uh, we then move on to one of the best sellers. This is the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This tool will do everything that these kits cover, but this will do way more manufacturers. So as this tool just does Nissan Subaru, this tool does uh, Japanese vehicles. This tool has the same tool capability as this one, but this tool covers manufacturers from all over the world. So it'll do all of the Europeans like BMW, um, Porsche, Mercedes, Audi, Seat, Skoda, VW, Toyota, uh, sorry, Toyota uh, Lexus, etc. Not Lexus, what am I saying? Volvo, Saab, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but anyway, it does the Americans as well. So it covers all three regions like uh, America, Europe, and Asia. So this is a, a really, really good package. And this has been a good package for a number of years now. Um, and it's still re a really, really good seller. But um, this also gives you free lifetime updates as well. Okay, so that's the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. And we then move on to the iCarsoft CR Max. So this kit goes over and above this tool. Um, this tool has all of the functions of all of these tools. It's a tablet-based kit. Let me just see if I can turn that on. Swipe that up and you can see it's a tablet-based kit. Um, it does cost more, but it does cover more as well. So, you know, this, this will do everything that this will do, but this will also do things like uh, actuation tests, suspension calibration, transmission adaption, air conditioning resets, engine adaptions, and a few other adaptions as well. I can't stress how good this tool is, and if your budget can stretch to this tool, I would definitely 100% recommend it. It's one of the best bang for buck or value to, uh, tools you know the best value for money you can get out there at the moment that's without going into the uh, sort of the, the really really high end professional ranges that all of the the main dealers have uh, but as i say it does everything everything that you'd really need to do at a diy level and um it's it's obviously going to cover your future vehicles and your other vehicles that you need to look at as well uh, interestingly though the, the the rival to this tool is called the autel mk808 and that tool actually costs about 150 pounds more 
and you need to pay yearly updates for that tool as well, costing around about £130 per year. This tool costs obviously £150 less. The updates for this are free for life. You'll never pay updates on this particular tool, which is why this is one of the best sellers out there at the moment. Um, it does cost more than these, but you do get more for your money. Um, guarantee that. That being said though, which two of these would I choose if it was my money? Look, if all I wanted to do was reset an airbag light, an ABS light, a check engine light, then you don't need to really look any further than the NS version 1.0 tool. That being said, if you want to get a little bit more functionality out of the tool, um, it depends if you want to just cover really your vehicle or you want to look at other vehicles as well, then, you know, the, F, the JP version 2.0 kit gives you that little bit more functionality for your vehicles. And these two obviously will come to, if you're looking at even more functionality and more uh, manufacturer coverage. If it was my money though, I would definitely go for this kit here. Um, one of these two kits, because you're always gonna, chances are somewhere along the line, you're gonna be changing a vehicle or you're gonna have a friend or family ve uh, member vehicle that needs something looking at. So the, this is where I'd put my money, these two kits here. But anyway, I hope you've maybe learned something from this video. Remember guys, please do use the links in the description below this video because uh, they will take you to the genuine and official products. There are fakes, clones that can damage your vehicle. It's just really not worth going down that route if you don't have to. So use the links, get the genuine products. And um, yeah, I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching.